Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and I'm back with another epic vintage toy hunting adventure. Except today, instead of hunting for vintage toys in thrift stores like we normally do, we're gonna switch gears and we're gonna go to where we know the vintage toys are. And that's the North Dallas Toy Show. So they put on th this toy show every single month. It's like the first Saturday of every month. And I have not been to it in quite a while since the beginning of the year. So I thought this would be a good opportunity to go and check out what kind of vintage toys are there this time around. Because the last few times I went there, the show was like, eh, so, so, so. I'm figuring, you know, I've given it a little time. I've given it a little rest. Now it's time to go back, hit it up, and see what kind of goodies we can get. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. If you are, hit that like button, and then let's roll out. My name is Burf, and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Man, how's it going? Hey, how are you? Doing really good. Got lots of beast man on the table today. <laughs> are these all ones you just... Collected bought, over yeah, time, or did no, you get a big lot? I bought a collection off of some guy. Oh, you did? I saw them all, and I just like had to have them. I'm like, these wow. cool. Yeah. I guess like they're so all together. It makes them look really neat. There's so many of them. Yeah. yeah there's never... different variants of them, which is cool. Yeah, exactly. You, yeah, you got the dark. You got like a green. You got the light blue. Yeah. So the different paint, different places where they came from. What are you asking for these? Oh, uh, like these are all complete. I do 40 on that because it's like the very first version. And then like this one, I'll do like uh, 15. And then without the thing, I do like 10. Okay, gotcha. So uh, these ones here would be like 40. And if you want them both I'll give you a better deal. Okay. On them, so. All right, cool. Yeah, yeah I might, uh, let me see yeah. what I can find here. Okay. And the more you buy, the better deal I'll give you. So, like, okay. so you buy more cool items. Cool, man. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Oh wow, look at the elephants. Those are so cool. Man, I gotta tell you, these Where the Wild Things Are figures are absolutely amazing. And I found a couple of them in a thrift store last year, like back in November sometime, I believe it was, or October. And I would have loved to have had these in my collection. I think he was asking like 120 for everything, but your boy's working on a budget. And this is like one of the first tables at the show, so I can't blow my wad all in one spot, if you know what I mean. So I had to pass for now, but maybe they'll be there next time. Which are these? So you sure you have the, the other head you can bring next time? Watch your name. That is super cool, man. What is that? <laughs> See you guys here. How you doing? I've been doing good, man. Group's getting big, man. I know, we're growing, bro. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got the hat. Oh, there, there. <laughs> right now, I love it. I was talking to Leonard earlier. Oh, were you really? Yeah, so yeah. I hadn't met him before, so I introduced myself and then I talked to him. And, and I told him I told him he needs to join the group. I was yeah, like, yeah, you gotta buy a hat, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, he's a good guy. He had some good stuff today as well. I'm hoping to stay on the rotation and keep coming back. Yeah. At least Monday's a good. Have you been to everyone this year so far? It was uh, January uh, was the last one. So I missed February, March, and then coming, and I'm hoping to do May, oh, May so you, 4th. So you weren't here February or March? Mm. Oh. Yeah, I see, I didn't stop in here either, oh, so yeah. like, yeah, I didn't know, but. I tend to stay in San Antonio where it's a little warmer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's funny. <laughs> wow. 
take it at? Let's, let's take so. Oh, and it's yeah, yeah, so. okay. Yeah. Did you get a pretty good deal on? Yeah. yeah. There was there was a few years, there was like a good two and a half years where I was getting lucky. I was just I would go and the garage is when you go into the garage and like people will try to put stuff, but if you look at, if you really like look into these boxes, you know, the, these grandparents and, and, and uh, family members, they leave their kids' toys in the garage. Yeah. And they're all, like, our age, right? So, like, there's vintage toys in the garage. Right. You just got to dig through. And you gotta, so I would find stuff. I'd, be, I'd find hot, hot Wheels, Red Lines, vintage toys. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, it was it was awesome. For, I, got, I had a really lucky two and a half year stretch. Yeah. That's <laughs> then, awesome. Kind of slow down, but it did was it like, slow down? Like, was it just more competition out there? Yes, and yeah, um, it got popular because um, people were, people were kind of 50 50 on estate sales, yeah. But um, they started posting pictures of what people would sell, yeah. And so you had to like really like look into, into right. the items and into the little like garages, like look into the garage, right? Of estate sales, and you'll find so, so you would find extra boxes that weren't even listed yep. in the estate sale and then just go to them and say, exactly. Hey, would you sell these to me? <laughs> exactly, yeah. That's and, epic, bro. And people used to, so, you know, um, I found a lot of VHS tapes. People were recording, like, you know, their favorite sports team. And then you get all those vintage commercials. Yeah. So, so people like that kind of stuff. So that, that sells really well. Yeah, matter of fact. Recordings. Um, I saw a bunch of those types of VHS at the thrift store recently, and yeah. I didn't buy them. And someone said, Burp, there's probably a lot of cool commercials on yeah. those. But people people buy those yes huh? yeah wow. they'll, they'll, they'll buy them uh and then record put on youtube or oh, have, wow. have it for themselves but you get to see all those vintage commercials yeah from back in the day and then plus you have a recorded game or recorded movies and right it's cool that's cool that's real cool yeah definitely want to pick this dude up and then this weekend i brought the sharks out Oh, you know, yeah, I didn't even see them over here, dude. Oh, wow. They're always so popular, and I always have ones and twosies. Well, I'm going to bring my little bundle to try to get them out. How much you asking on this guy? Oh, 20. Yeah, okay. 20. So Nick really hooked a Goody Wheel gang member up, man. Uh, I got some awesome stuff from him. We'll do a full-on show and tell of everything I pick up at the end of the video. But in my opinion, Nick's table is probably the best table at the show. He's got some amazing figures and he's got great prices too. So Nick, buddy, if you're watching, thank you. <laughs> Uh, they're awesome. I like the vehicle ones. Which one? Which one is the earliest one? Uh, the earliest one I've seen are the vehicles where you're just a bunch yes. of cars and stuff. Yeah, the yeah, figures like inside of them. And... Mm -mm, there's like a ton of vehicles. Yes, they're not lions. No, no, it's they're not like, like cars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I know which one you're talking That's about old, now. Old, old. I have seen that. I think, yes, you're right. That one came up first, and then this. The and there's tiger. a third one, but I don't know much about the third one. Uh, it's something you don't see all that often, the Popeye figures. That's really cool. I don't see that one very often either. I've never seen this one before.
Oh wow, so this one is like super rare. Yes, this is the undercover TMT. Basically, this ones go about a thousand two hundred, a thousand three hundred. No yeah, kidding! Are. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and how did? Where did you find him at? This one, I bought it in a collection. So basically, okay. it came all in a collection. Oh wow! I didn't know he was there until. I found oh him. wow! What a surprise! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you got some Motu in there. Oh, and some Thundercats, a little Mumra. Oh, awesome. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna Actually, put them here. Yeah, but yeah. That way. Let's see if there's any in here that I don't have. I've got him, but I don't have him with his pads, you know? Usually that's what it's missing. How much are you asking for him? That one I'm asking 15. 15, okay. And this is Clamp Champ. I'm gonna ask people if they have it because I like walking around. I'm looking for you man. Yes, yes. How much you asking? That for one him? I'm asking 30. 30. Is it 30? Super and 15? clean, yeah. Mainly the face is what actually gets messed up. Right. Money. 30. It's a 30 and 15, 40. You know I can do 25. You do 25 and yep. then 15 on him, yeah. so 40 for 40. both. Okay, I'll do 40. Do you, do you take Venmo by chance? I, I do PayPal or sell. Okay, I, I can do PayPal. Perfect. Because I wow, I don't think I've ever seen a rescue hero in the box. They look fantastic in the box. Dude, I just like spent all my money on this first row. <laughs> so your so much there. good stuff. I had to dip into the PayPal. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I had to go to reserves. Yeah. <laughs> I never found that Dracula for this man. I'm older, the X-Files, top left. That's it? Plug. Are they open? Oh, they do open? They do. <laughs> oh, those are so cool. Yeah, they are. Where'd you find these at? They're made by Jada Toys. Oh, they are made by Jada. Yeah. Oh, wow. Sold on eBay at hundred dollars basically. Wow, yeah. dude. How much did you pay for that lot? Twenty. Wow, wow, dude, you made out. Yeah, <laughs> you did, you did really good. Yeah. I, I I love it when a plan comes together, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And most of the time it doesn't for me. <laughs> Right. 
Bunch of parts down here. I don't know if this is like the GI Joe headquarters, maybe. Oh man, I've never seen the Chitara, the Tigra, and the Panthro before. I am like drooling at the mouth right now over these bootleg Thundercats. They look beautiful. Oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna have to pull the trigger on these. I'm not exactly sure how much they cost at this moment, but I think I need these things in my life. <laughs> At least now we know they're ready. Hello, how are you doing today? Do you have any questions? Let us know. So this vendor told me that these were called Skeleton Warriors and he wanted like $500 for the lot and I wish I had the money or even something close to that to make an offer on it. These things are amazing and I think I might have found a new grill piece I'm going to go after. <laughs> in a box as well. Well, I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised with the toy show this time around. There were a lot of great vendors there, especially, especially my Goody Wheel Gang member Nick's table. Yeah, Nick has a table at the North Dallas Toy Show and he had some amazing stuff and he hooked a gang member up because that's how membership does, man. When you're an official Goody Wheel Gang member, 
you get the hookups. That's how it works. So if you're not an official member, the way you can become one is by purchasing a Goody Wheel Gang member t-shirt or hat from the 80s Toys Rock store just below this video. You get private access to our Facebook group. And like I said, membership has its benefits. So there's all kinds of cool stuff going on in there. Trades, people are selling stuff to each other at discounts. We're posting the stuff that to, uh, the finds that we pick up either at the thrift store or yard sales or, you know, the deals we're seeing out at Ross. It's a great place to network. So anyway, uh, I got a lot of great stuff from the show. So I think it's time to do a little show and tell. All right, gang, this is phase one of my North Dallas toy show haul. Yes, I picked up enough figures to have two phases of show and tell. So I'll show you the rest of the figures here in just a little bit. But for right now, we're going to start with these guys. So I've got over here on the left, I've got Rio Blast, which I already have him, but mine does not have his guns, nor does it have his knee pads, which are always missing from this figure. So I got him and uh, I think he's in pretty decent condition. He's got a little wear up here on his uh, head where the paint is coming off, where his hair is and stuff like that. But overall, he's a good looking figure. I also got this Screaming, Hero, Screaming Heroes Egon Spangler from the real Ghostbusters. I got him for three bucks. He doesn't really function all that well, but uh, he actually spins like a tornado. So you wind him up and see that little lever like around his waist area, you kind of slide it to the left, it locks him in place, and then you slide it to the right, and then he spins like a like a hurricane. Uh, but he doesn't work all that well. He does work, but you know, he's a little glitchy. So back here, we've got the Dr. Paranoid figure, the Power Bite, I think is what it was called, Power Bite Dr. Parano uh, Paranoid from the Street Sharks line. So I got him from my Goody Wheel gang member, Nick. So Nick, thanks for the hookup on these figures, by the way. Uh, there, I got some more figures from Nick. I'll show you guys here in a minute, but he gave me a good deal just because I'm a Goody Wheel gang member. Yes, membership does have its benefits. So Nick, I appreciate it. Over here, we got this Imperial uh, dragon creature and uh, I got him for like $10. They go so well with like Masters of the Universe figures, but I happen to have my Galaxy Warrior Dragoon sitting on top of him. So I got Dragoon off of Nick as well and uh, picked him up along with another uh, Street Shark, which I'll show you here in just a moment. So, but we got Dragoon and this Imperial Dragon, which like I said, I think is amazing. I love the Imperial dinosaurs and dragons the chinosaurs and all that stuff like that uh that they make they're they're really well and like i said they go they go well with masters of the universe and then also i got this beast man which i do have a beast man but i don't have him with the yellow collar so matter of fact i didn't even know the yellow collar beast man existed until a few years ago i had the red collar one as a kid i thought that's all they ever made and then i saw like this yellow collar one at a toy show a few years back and i was just like Hey, wait a minute, what's going on with this? So I finally own one now. It's the first uh, yellow collared beast man that I own. So he's really awesome. And then check this out. This guy was so cool. It's Andre the Giant. It's got an Andre the Giant like head sculpt on like a He-Man body or like a Galaxy Warriors body. If you look like those molds look almost identical. I'm pretty sure it is the same mold, but uh, it's even got the same type of wristbands is this guy over here. Now what's interesting about the Galaxy Warrior stuff is that my brother, my real life brother, um, not just my, you know, not just my bro, but my brother, uh, he found this Galaxy Warrior guy in a toy store for $5, just like a week before I went to the show here and sent me a pic of it. And I was like, dude, pick him up. I gotta have that guy. So, so now I got a couple of Galaxy Warriors and maybe even possibly a third one. <laughs> it definitely looks like the body sculpt. And then over here, we've got Super Slam Moo, another street shark that I picked up from Nick. And uh, again, gave me a good deal on it. So I bundled some things together with Nick at the show and he hooked me up. And then finally, last but not least, I got this Clamp Champ figure. I do not have a Clamp Champ in my collection at all. He is missing quite a bit of, uh, of his accessories and you know, his outfit and stuff like that and his weapons. But 
It still needs to have a clamp champ in the collection. So now I'll just have to look and see what it's gonna cost me to put him all back together. Probably will be a pretty penny, it usually is, so. But overall, very, very happy with this haul. And uh, where do you see what else I got? I picked up some bootleg Thundercats and look how amazing these things are. Oh my God, I could not believe it when I saw them sitting on the shelf there at the show. These things are so freaking awesome. So I already had the Mumra and the lion -O. But I picked up these three. So we got Chitara, Panthro, and Tigra. And holy cow, guys. Not only did I get the figures, but they actually came with their weapons. How amazing is that? So I got to try and find a Sword of Omens for Lionel over here and figure out, I don't know if the Mumra comes with anything or not, uh, the bootleg version of him, but if he does, I gotta try and track some weapons down because these guys with their weapons, just, it's icing on the cake, man. Like these things, I love bootleg figures and these bootlegs from Mexico are just absolutely stunning. They're fantastic. Like. I, I didn't even know, like I've seen, so here's the thing. I've seen the lion -O and the Mumra on multiple occasions at different toy shows. I've never seen the rest of the Thundercats. So the fact that these were here, I had to pull the trigger on them. So he wanted initially, I think it was $40 a piece for them. So it would have been like 120 bucks, but I got them all for $100. So he gave me a really awesome deal on it. So I was very grateful for that. But holy cow, like they just look so amazing and I can't wait. I'm definitely like, I'm going to get a shelf just for these figures, just for these figures, because they deserve a shelf all to their own. And I can't wait to put them on display. All right, guys and girls, that's all I got for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's content as much as I enjoyed making it for you. If you did, do me a favor, smash that like button. And if you want to watch more videos just like this, then check out this next video.